Hello everyone. So in this video, I will be actually telling you my journey from the 11, 12 standard till this point, uh, where I have close to 10 K subscribers. <laughs> it's not too much compared to the other YouTubers out there. But, uh, my point is key that you have to, like, you have to have a dream in your head. Okay. So, uh, I am not too super fast or too super intelligent guy from the 11, 12 standard as well. Okay. I got good grades, but I'm not too like a topper type of guy in my school as well as my college. So when I had done my studies, uh, uh, in Agra as well, because I, this is my hometown, I had done my studies from a local, uh, coaching Institute. And it was, uh, like that key. I had done those topics and it, it makes sense to me, but, uh, what happened in the end is that I not land too much good marks in the mock test or the test series which I joined. So I, it generally disheartened me ki, like what I am doing wrong. But what makes me different from others is that I always think that if I work hard, if I just give just 10% ahead of the student which is working just beside of me, then that might just give me an edge in the final competition. I just think that that's it. Nothing much. It, it happens like almost every time ki, when I give a test, I thought ki, I will not get good marks or I will not land into a good college. It, it, it was always in the back of my mind, but what was also there key, let us give what I have and not think what will happen. Okay. So that was it. Uh, Luckily, I got into Bits Pilani and uh, it was only by the grace of God that I landed there. Uh, it was my hard work, but it was more of my parents' hard work. So everyone actually uh, pushed me, supported me at every point of time. And I landed into Bits Pilani. Uh, but I do not know everyone know or, know or not, like know that or not. But uh, I got a, a dual degree in Bits Pilani that is of biological sciences. So I do not land it in a very good branch as well. Okay. So I landed, uh, in a, uh, what you can say some sort of a very low branch in bits planning. So, but, uh, if anyone knows about bits planning, if you get a dual degree, then you had a opportunity to land a good, uh, what you can say secondary degree and that might be good. Okay. So, uh, as everyone which landed into bits planning with a dual degree, they had a goal that they want to get a CS degree or a electrical degree. And I also had the same thing in my mind, but, uh, when you land into bits planning, there are so many great minds, bright minds out there. And, uh, I just felt key. I am not the one who will be like, uh, who might actually compete with them. So they are way too out of my league. I got into this college, but now this college has so much to offer key. Maybe I, I will not like, like take all of that, that will it, it offer. So I, I just leave everything aside and just focus on my studies. Uh, I just try to get as good marks as I can, but still in the end, I do not get a electrical degree or a, what you can say a CS degree. Finally, I landed into a mechanical dual degree. So in like, after my first year, I have a biological sciences branch as well as a dual degree in mechanical engineering. Now you just see my dilemma right there that I have biological sciences. I am in a mechanical degree with a, with a dual degree program and still I have to get into a CS background, uh, job. Now the, the thing was key by my keen interest for CS like developed when I was in the first year itself, I got opportunity to take a very good CP induction course and it was a very good course in which I landed a good grade as well, but, uh, I do not have the opportunity to land or to study CS eventually after my first year, because then I have to study biological sciences as well as mechanical engineering courses. So it was a very disheartened moment for me. Also, I know that after the end of the five years, after the end of this dual degree course, uh, uh, I will be given less chance to sit for placements for software development roles in compared to like CS branches or like electrical branches students might get. 
सो दैट इज ऑल्सो वेरी डिस मिड फॉर मी एंड आई रिमेंबर्ड की आई यूज टू थिंक की आई डो नॉट नो कि वॉट विल हैपन टू मी बिकॉज आई वॉज ऑल्सो ऑन अ स्टूडेंट लोन सो आई डो नॉट नो कि वॉट विल हैपन इवेंचुअली आफ्टर दैट सो थिंग्स गेट वेरी वेरी लाइक इन अ वेरी रोलर कोस्ट राइड फॉर मी इन दोज फाइव ईयर्स बट वॉट आई कैन श्योरली टेल यू इज दैट आई हैड अ ड्रीम आई हैड अ ड्रीम टू गेट अ वेरी इन अ वेरी गुड जॉब टू स्कोर गुड मार्क्स स्कोरिंग मार्क्स वॉज वेरी डिफिकल्ट फॉर मी बिकॉज बिकॉज ऑफ टू रीजन्स इट वॉज अ वेरी हाईली कॉम्पिटेटिव एरिया एंड द कॉलेज वॉज वेरी गुड एंड द थिंग वॉज कि आई वॉज नॉट स्टडिंग वॉट आई सपोज टू स्टडी आई आई वॉज स्टडिंग मकैनिकल साइंसेज एंड बायोलॉजिकल साइंसेज द सब्जेक्ट्स वर वेरी गुड द टीचर्स वर वेरी हाईली लाइक प्रोफेशनल बट द थिंग वॉज कि आई इन द बैक ऑफ माई माइंड वॉन्ट टू स्टडी सी एस सो आई यूज टू स्टडी सी एस कॉम्पिटिव कोडिंग इन माई फ्री टाइम ओके बट दैट वॉज नॉट इनफ सो देन आई ट्राई टू लाइक डिवोट मोर टाइम टू इट एंड देन मोर टाइम टू इट 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 श्योरली हेम्पर्स माई स्टडी समवेयर डाउन द लाइन बट आई नो कि इन द इन द इन द लॉन्ग रन आई एक्चुअली हैव टू डू सी एस ओनली सो देन आई एक्चुअली थॉट टू डू सम ओपेल ओपेल मीन्स की कोर्सेज दैट आई कैन टेक एज अ स्टूडेंट दैट इज हैविंग डिफरेंट डिग्रीज बट आई कैन टेक अ सी एस कोर्स एज वेल सो दैट इज वन ऑफ द फैसिलिटी प्रोवाइड बाई बिट्स प्लानिंग सो आई एम थैंकफुल फॉर दैट एंड आई एक्चुअली डन टू और थ्री कोर्सेज एज अ ओपेल ऑफ सी एस ब्रांच दैट इज लाइक मे बी ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम्स एंड ऊप्स कोर्सेज सो दैट एक्चुअली हेल्प मी अलॉन्ग डाउन द लाइन एंड वॉट एक्चुअली हेल्प इन द एंड वॉज की ऑल ऑफ दैम इन कैप स्लिट्स ओके इन द फोर्थ ईयर आई ऑल्सो गेट द अपॉर्चुनिटी टू डू वन इंटर्नशिप अंडर ए फॉर टेक्नोलॉजीज सो दैट ऑल्सो हेल्प मी आउट टू डू अ लॉट ऑफ प्रोजेक्ट सो इफ यू लाइक जस्ट गो थ्रू वन रेज्यूमे ऑफ अ वेरी गुड और लस्ट आर एवरेज सी ए स्टूडेंट ऑल्सो दे माइट हैव सम गुड सब्जेक्ट्स अ गुड सी जी पी ए एंड सम प्रोजेक्ट्स एंड ऑल्सो सम कॉम्पिटिव प्रोग्रामिंग what you can say uh, rankings but uh, in the end i do not have a good cgpa i do not have the same branch i do not have good courses so and in the end i want to get a good job so it was a very tough moment for me but what happened eventually is ki i know i am good at competitive coding i had done two subjects so let's make them strong at least because i have done two subjects as a opel for the course for the sub, like for the resume part i have to also do some uh, what you can say projects so for the projects when i had done my internship i had done my internship to the full core i learned as much as i can i had given all the exposure i can get from the mentors out there and I had done like at least two or three projects mini projects in the internships only and i have put in there in my resume i have also done one more, one inter, like one project uh, under my professor guidance which i have just taught and uh, he had given me one project so that was also counted and those projects all of them encapsulate so being from a student which is from mechanical and biological sciences i had still what you can say ki gathered up and pick up pieces along the line from wherever i can to get because i had a dream also the second thing is ki i had the hunger for it okay so these two are the important part i know like it is very difficult for everyone to get this hunger or to get a dream but just think down the line okay just think ki what are like what is the position you are in and just think that you sometimes see any other privileged child or any other student and think that maybe i might had also been at that position uh, like may, maybe my parents might also had been in that position or maybe i had also got that fortune but you hadn't but do you want the same thing for your next generation do you want ki your next generation also think this so the thing is ki maybe you are the point at which your your cycle of might change so maybe you can work that much hard ki down the line your next generation will give like idleness of you ki just like you have studied so much hard you have given all of you, all of it okay so you must have a dream you must have a hunger and you must have some sort of vision i know that this is a very cliche thing like everyone tell this everyone tell ki you have to be motivated and so on but just think in that direction even if you get good bad grades even if you do not know how to do that maybe if you do not you don't understand the concept but just try and try and try don't think over the like what will happen don't think what will happen down the line ki whether you will get a good thing or not you have to give your all that is my main point 
okay maybe that one spark so i also had always thought like uh, when i was having a conversation with my brother i always tell him ki don't don't think ki what will happen okay there is also one more factor that is luck down there luck obviously will play a great low role okay but let's say that if you give 10 papers okay maybe in two paper luck will be with you but you have to be focused enough his so that you will give 100% in all the papers but in the in those two papers you will get good grades i the, the main point is ki not every day is your day but when your day will come you have to be full, fully prepared for that okay so that is the whole thing out there like when in the end when i was also like sitting out for placements so if i give you some certain ratios it's not 100% true but it is that like if let's say like 10 or 20 companies come for cs and electrical branches it's only five companies out there which comes for the non cs branches so it happens in uh, in such colleges also and it actually disheartened me ki like why i cannot sit there now even if for those five companies which are open to all it will be open to all like open to all means like all the branches can sit sit in them even the electrical cs branches and the all the chemical and manufacturing all branches out there so then the competition will get doubled or many folds time harder in those five comp- like five companies but for the 15 companies which i am not eligible for i don't have to actually sit for them and then it becomes very hard for them so like there are day zero companies day one companies in the placement and even if i've heard worked so hard for my competitive book programming in the end i was feeling ki i might not night like i will not land a good like job out there okay and then the day zero was about to get over but suddenly like razor pay came and i gave my all okay because i know ki before that also i have given three interviews in day zero so let's say like 10 companies come for day zero that is the highest package uh, among all the packages that will come so day zero is the top companies that will come and from those let's say that there are 10 companies i'm not the this figure is not exact but let's say that there are 10 companies which are uh, there for the day zero only two or three companies that are open for like open for all and from them i given the interviews i had cleared the round the like competitive coding round and all of that but in the end i got rejected because i do not have much exposure in the cs field because most of them ask dev related problems and it was not my domain okay because i not not done too much dev i had done only competitive programming so that was a like a drawback for me but in the end i know ki i have to only focus a day will come or a company will come which will take me because i am not that dumb i had given my time i had given my work okay and in the end that is only that you have in your hands you do not have ki what will happen in the future you don't have to worry about that but what you have to worry is ki your your work what you can do with your hands what you can do with your time if you just open my channel i opened my channel during my placement times when i was preparing and i thought ki why not just prepare as well as make videos so that it will become like it will get a uh, beneficial for me as well as for others to prepare and now if you just open my channel i have more than 750 videos do 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 you, can you think like 750 videos are only there and every video can have multiple problems also so i have solved so many problems just on this channel itself and if you tell that i cannot solve problems then can you see that i have solved more problems on the channel itself so how much problems i have solved in my entire 4 or 5 years of like journey and that is the whole work ethics thing you have to be stay focused i do not know ki whether i will land a good job or not whether i will like i will become a red coder or orange coder on code forces i do not think about that though it will sometimes hampers me ki why i am not the best or i am giving so much effort but in the end it's just you competing with yourself don't like don't judge yourself with others because in the end whatever placement you will get whatever fame you will get whatever failures you will get so just focus on yourself and don't think about others just take as much information you can get from others whenever you whenever you like talk to someone absorb as much energy from them try to get whatever knowledge they have so that you will get more interest okay in the end that's the whole crux for me to so that i will tell you this 
सो इन दी एंड आई एल जस्ट एक्चुअली क्लोज दिस वीडियो आउट कि आई एम नो अदर देन यू आई एम एज ऑर्डनरी एज एनी वन इन दिस वर्ल्ड ओके बट वॉट हैव डन इज कि आई हैव नॉट थॉट कि वॉट विल हैपन आई हैव ओनली थॉट कि वट एवर हैपन आई जस्ट गिव माई हंड्रेड परसेंट नाउ आई डो नॉट केयर वॉट विल हैपन इन द एंड बिकॉज गॉड इज विद मी एंड योर पेरेंट्स ब्लेसिंग इज विद यू सो वट एवर हैपन्स इट विल बी द बेस्ट इन योर फेवर ओनली एंड द सेकेंड थिंग इज जस्ट गिव एज मच एज यू कैन बिकॉज एवरी वन आउट देयर इज ट्राइंग टू स्नैच थिंग्स सो इफ यू आर गिविंग देन यू आर द बेटर वन सो ट्राई टू गिव एज मच एज यू कैन and try to learn from everyone as you can be grateful for everyone because whatever you are at this point of time even if i am in reserve pay i am not too much uh, knowledgeable about how to do the work or how to get things done but there are so much great mentors out there so much great colleagues out there which actually help me at every point of time so be grateful to all of them try to learn as much as you can and the end you know what will happen so take care bye and signing off from code explainer i will meet you in the next one take care bye bye peace out